Okay, Twin Flames, Divine Masculine versus Divine Feminine. Let's see what's up. Let me say my little prayer. Okay, so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. I do talk a little dirty, so if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity in the cards, just find your way out of the read at that point. Uh, come again another day. Tarot is for entertainment purposes, also to give you some clarity to your situation. If these reads resonate with you, uh, book a read with me to go further in detail for you. All right rootsandrewards.com. I accept Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. All right, so Divine Masculine versus Divine Feminine here. All right, so it looks like there's a little bit of uh, competition and greed going on, a little bit of uh, indecision. I feel that the masculine is holding back and battling people here. And the feminine energy is kind of like blindfolded to it. Um, yeah, indecisive. This masculine could have ghosted you guys. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, stopped communication. All right. And now you guys are turning up single. Someone's going to show back up. Someone's showing back up here with communication, with the King of Swords coming out in reverse like that. As you transform, you become better. You know, you, you're feeling better in your energy away from this masculine. Um, you, you're growing. You're growing uh, from your immaturities, from your insecurities here. Very nice. All right, so... You choose which side you're on, whether you're on this side or that side, flip it, reverse it, whatever you got to do with it. What is uh, the masculine energy feeling right now? I think uh, they're battling financially, might be battling uh, people here. They could be letting go of a queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio that they don't see emotional investment in this person could have two little white dogs name may start with a d or a k yeah, they're bored all right so masculine's bored they're researching how to fill their cup up your your masculine may microdose on shrooms microdosing or likes mushrooms this masculine may have a family they might have two children here could be dealing with this masculine for six years What's going on with this masculine right now? They feel burdened. Things are not balanced in this masculine's life here. No. Financially, they ain't doing too good. They may not even be working right now. They don't even have a job right now or, you know, stability. They may be staying home taking care of the kids. Out of work. If they are dealing with uh, Queen of Cups here. There's the Five of Wands. That's what's making me feel like this masculine does have other parties, other people that they're messing with. And that's what's causing them to hold back from you. Yeah. That's why they're not able to give you a love offer. Okay. I can't. Yeah, they can't pick you up and do what they want because they're stuck in a rut. What's going on with this masculine here? They're trying to walk away from the, you know, the spilt milk. What happened between you guys? I feel like, yeah, they, they're feeling bad. 
by not being able to make a judgment call to come towards you. This, this masculine is feeling very wounded. They feel a victim. They feel a victim of their, their life, of their circumstances. They just don't feel like anything's going right. Nothing's going right. Nothing's going their way. They know that they got a lot of work to do. They're drowning right now. Yeah. They're drowning. They're trying to get unstuck from partnership. Four of Wands. They're not sleep. They're very restless about their partnership. Huh. They're not they're not showing any victory yet with this person. What's the outcome between your masculine and their other person? See, they're with a, a wannabe em empress or person that maybe, maybe this person is an empress, but they don't look at this person as an empress. They don't look at this person as very valuable to them because they're very unhappy. They're very hurt. They're bored. They're not satisfied in this relationship with this person. They also don't want to juggle. They don't want to juggle the feminine energy with this other, uh, this karmic, we're going to call it a karmic partner because they're not happy. They're all up in the head, you know, waiting, waiting to see what's coming next. This person may be waiting for you to fly in with the message. They, they're approaching with communication. I feel like this masculine is going to come to you and tell you that they really have been uh, stuck feeling like they're, they've been imprisoned. They're in prison in this other relationship. They can't get out. They can't get out of it. They want to they wanna sail, you know? They want to fly free. But they're, they're having a hard time communicating it to this person that they want to fly free. See? They want to come out of the heartbreak. They don't want to hurt their other person. They don't want to... You're going to be hearing some apologies from this masculine energy here. Apologies about how they uh, they kept you in lack and they hurt you. They're not happy that they hurt you, putting you in a third party here. So they put you in a third party. Now they want to put effort... They see you as a soulmate here. Cancer energy. Walking away from other options to come and be married with you. To grow the connection. Grow a legacy. They're stalking and wanting to heal the connection. Seeing that you're, you're glowing. You're having a major glow up here. They see that you have other people coming in. Um, wanting to prioritize you, rushing in with emotional offers for you. Feminines, you looking really nice. You're looking sexy. You're keeping it pushing. You're not allowing this masculine to hold you back anymore. You're protecting your energy. You're staying up on your pedestal. And you're not going to be put at a crossroads. This masculine is holding burning desire for you in the background, wanting a new passionate beginning, trying to get out of the crossroads. Feminine, how's the feminine doing? Feminine energy, what's going on with the feminines? I see that you guys are coming out of your your immaturity. Your, you know, you guys maybe were like lustful. You were in and out. You were just waving the wand or cookie at this um, this uh, masculine. Looks like you guys are also uh, deciding to make a judgment call to get out of the crossroads, to get out of that indecision that we saw. You are both, you and your masculine are both making judgment calls. They're having a harder time making a judgment call leaving this partnership. So that's the judgment calls in reverse here. It's going to take them a little bit to make that judgment call. Now you, on the other hand, no. You're com coming out of the crossroads real quick. It's 
deciding to be single and focus more on yourself and surrendering this masculine. Nice. So how's the feminine doing? Yeah. You're waiting for even reciprocated connection. And I think you, you're just like, okay, if you can't reciprocate me, then I have to make a judgment call to not wait around for you. I can't keep giving you love energy. I can't keep supporting you. All right. So what's going on? Feminines. Feminine. You're done with uh, the greediness of this masculine. You guys got the same exact cards, but in different uh, reversals and stuff. 11, 11 on the clock. So verifying that this is a twin flame connection. So the four of pentacles, you're done with the greed of this person. You're done with this person holding back from you. You're done with this person not investing in you. So you're choosing to invest in yourself. You're choosing to throw yourself into your work, researching ways how to become, uh, you know, better in your own energy. So flipping the focus is nice to see. Feminine. You got this king of cups. You got a king of cups. You're coming out of heartbreak with the King of Cups. Could have been, uh, your masculine could be, excuse me, your masculine could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Taurus energy. You're coming out of heartbreak and commitment with uh, this person here. You're no longer committing. Um, you're no longer going to be sad. There's not going to be any friction left between the two of you. 12, 12 on the clock. I just saw. Check out that angel number. You got the wheel of fortune here. So you have abundance coming in. You're turning the wheel in your favor. As you choose to end these connections that don't serve your higher purpose, you could be ending with a Scorpio. Um, yeah, ending dead-end situations and going to manifest better for you. You're manifesting, you know, your passions, your emotions, your uh, logical mind. Really nice. No longer being part of a third party, no longer celebrating with somebody that's attached to someone else. I think you feminines are learning the lesson. Yeah, you're letting the tower crumble. It wasn't built on solid ground, so you're letting it crumble. You're healing from it and you're moving you're moving away from it so you're closing out cycles here so you're done with the old patterns the old behaviors you got watching you you got watching and stalking there's somebody hiding watching you wanting to be a lover of yours i feel like it's this masculine here gemini pisces libra Aquarius. Someone's hiding the fact that they love you. Someone loves you here. Let's get a different deck. Who's this person that's in love with you? Is it the masculine? Or is it somebody new? Who's in love with the... Uh, Feminines. Who's in love with the feminine? Judgment call upright. Judgment call to come out of third party. All right, so this masculine is in love with you. This is the masculine wanting to come out of heartbreak with you and reciprocate you and bring victory to you. So expect this masculine to come in and uh, make that judgment call to stop cloaking themselves. Uh, they've been sitting in heavy disappointment. They've been cloaking. They've been in the dark. You know, they're having a dark night of the soul. Uh, yeah. Hiding the fact that they want to have a partnership with you. Cancer Pisces energy again here. Seeing you as their partner. Traveling in for you. As you close out chapters... So this could just be that you guys are closing out toxicity between the two of you and then you're coming together. You're closing out the heartbreak here, you see? Closing out the heartbreak, closing out, healing the third party, 
healing the heartbreak from a third party situation and then investing. So Aquarius, healing the heartbreak and then going towards investing in the partnership. They see you as the Empress, Taurus energy. They see that you're very motherly or fatherly to them. They see that you you manifest what you need. You care for them like no other. Masculine's trying to drop burdens and responsibilities to be able to come towards you. King of Wands meets the Queen of Wands, Divine Partnership. Leo, Aries, Sag coming together matching each other very nicely you're both very attractive you're both very ambitious about your life and you both are wanting to come out of feeling victim of your life or feel wounded you know feeling wounded between the two energies you don't want to sit in your wounds you don't want to project your wounds onto each other anymore that's what was going on here you guys were projecting you're both not sitting in positions that were bringing you wish fulfillment I just saw the Ten of Cups. Hold on. Where to go? You're both seeing that you have a lot of passion for one another. And that there's no more begging and projecting. There's no more downplaying. There's no more sabotaging one another in the connection. This connection isn't going to be delayed. This person, this masculine, is lowering their defense and their guard uh, to come in. I feel like this person, you know, they definitely isolated and cloaked. Could be a Leo, Virgo energy. They definitely cloaked, and you've been on their mind. They've been wanting to come back in. As they think at night, they've been wanting to come back in and uplift you and make your soul go on fire again and get that intimacy and lust energy back with you guys. Judgment call again judgment call to lay down the defense let's stop fighting let's stop projecting on each other let's stop delaying this connection let's stop the sabotage let's stop knocking each other down let's stop being in a competition with one another and let's just get our passion and uh, desire going let's start creating with one another giving to one another Okay, so let's see what goes on. They're all bottled up with love energy for you. I just don't know how to express that shit. Sagittarius energy. Leo energy. There's enlightenment. This person's very temperamental. One minute, you know, they rejected you. They rejected you because they were all over the fucking place. They rejected you because they didn't have enlightenment. They rejected you because they had to shut their emotions off to you, shut their desire off to you, hide the fact that you brought them a lot of sunshine and happiness and you made them feel very confident in their energy. They were, they're hiding. They're hiding all of this. They're sitting in the Ten of Swords now. They feel rejected. They chose wrong. They... Um, trap themselves in this third party they trap themselves in their head I feel like this masculine did not want to reject you they wanted a piece of your ass yeah they wanted a piece of your ass they wanted a partner they saw the potential that this could go to a partnership that's why they closed it out before it went that far so this, this relationship could have started as a, uh, a lustful connection. See the hiding of the emotions, overwhelmed with love energy for you. This person fantasizes about having a relationship with you, having businesses with you, investing in this partnership. They just got to get out of the fucking wounds, which they are. I'm going to be traveling in. Eights are coming out again this week, so eight days, eight weeks, eight months, or the month of August traveling in getting out of their wounds they're going to be single 
Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're finding their strength to leave this person, to stand on their own financially. This person could be in a codependent relationship with this person over money. Money, children. Um, yeah. There's movement though here. You know, feminines, continue to surrender it. Continue to work on yourself. Uh, let them continue to hide whatever they want to hide here. And you just go on your merry way and grow your legacy and make sure that your baskets are feeling filled up. You know, don't sit in illusions. Go after your passions. Go after cel celebratory times with other people. You know, give other people... Uh, opportunity to get to know you and uplift you. Yeah, I see that you guys possibly were sitting in, in a lot of illusions with this mask because they didn't communicate. They weren't, they weren't an emperor. They're holding back. They, they weren't mature enough to tell you the truth. They weren't mature enough, see the illusions? to tell you how they were feeling in the background. Maybe you didn't even know that this masculine had a relationship. You didn't know that they had another lover here. They were hiding the fact that they had another lover, that they were in a partnership or marriage, or they were just like dating a lot of people. They were hiding this from you. Now they're hiding that they wanna be a lover of yours that they, they don't really find any substance in these options here. They're running into a lot of sneaky motherfuckers and they're cutting off people. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo, again, getting confident in making their decisions, getting confident in setting their boundaries, getting confident to sh cut off shit that doesn't make them happy. They feel empowered in your energy. This masculine feels empowered. Ten of Cups. They're coming to give you wish fulfillment. They're manifesting you here. And they're deading. Whatever their whatever their false narratives are, if they're in partnerships here, if they have options, if their family's holding them back from you, they're ending it. They're ending a commitment right here. Ending a commitment and coming out of heartbreak. Taurus Scorpio energy. Wanting to emotionally invest, sitting here waiting to, sh to, to show you their feelings. Feelings, not holding back anymore. Investing. Coming out of the wishy washy energy, the lust energy. Let me just uh, get my dick stroked or pussy licked. No. Judgment call to reciprocate now at this point. Reciprocation. see the lovers I'm really digging that card a lot so this person's fantasizing about coming towards you let's see sexy time if you guys like to go deeper in these reads just uh, set up a personal read or sexy time read a multi-card read with me. Multi-card gives the most in-depth. That's what these YouTube reads are. Four or more decks. I do have a support group called Visionary Movements Mindfulness Networking. If you guys are feeling lost, if you need to find some direction, if you just want to, you know, make friends, come and join. It's every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. It's $10 weekly. A zoom call and I put cards in there we talk about our week and we do meditation and I give you homework and stuff it's really it's it's a fun group it's a fun group and it's a nice check-in you know to know that you're supported and you feel valued I feel like everybody leaves the group um, on a good note and I see transformation throughout the weeks I think we're on week 15 since we started so it's growing you're coming out of the crossroads with this person see they're sneaking up behind you they're watching you 
undress yourself. They're watching you, you know, peel away the layers of yourself here. Most likely this person's asking friends about you or friends are going back to this person and telling them or they're watching your social media or something here. Um, they're, they're not resting. This, this person's not resting at all. Somebody's given them really harsh communication. Could be a Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's just... You know what I feel with this? I feel like this person got to suck up to this person. Like, they're sucking tit. They're sucking their tit. Like, this person... They baby this person. They're definitely codependent on them. Somebody may be breastfeeding... Or somebody may just lick your nipples really good. You tell me. But I feel like somebody is like nursing. Nursing someone. Or maybe you feel like this way to your masculine. Like I'm always nursing you back to health. I'm always nursing you. You know. Playing mommy and daddy to you. Understanding you. You know. Ten of pentacles. Yeah. They, they don't want to invest in this partnership anymore. They're over there looking at you. Fantasizing about you cooking naked for them, them looking up on you. Five of Cups disappointment, sitting in disappointment, wanting you to ride the cowboy or the cowgirl with the Nine of Cups. So as they sit in disappointment in this relationship, they're over here in introspection, in their head, behind their partner, fantasizing about you coming in and riding their, their hot rod and them hiking up your skirt and getting in your, your, your cookie, your warm or apple pie. Virgo. Again, wanting victory. Finding, finding a way back to, to you. They're having faith that they can come back into you. To ya, to ya. What accent is that? To ya. I don't know. British, maybe? What's this masculine want to do with you sexually? They want to catch you. They want to take a leap of faith, catch you, and transform the connection. They see you as very, very innocent, very uh, to yourself, an introvert. They're hiding, you know. You're kind of hiding away from them. They got a good look in schlong nice and hard for you. Somebody may wear sandals or loafers. They're just whipping their shit out for you. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, see. Waterfall Sagittarius wants to go down to him. They want your lip, their lips on your lips. Your bottom lips. <laughs> Pulling you close. And then you're just like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm safe here. So you're like, I don't know if I'm safe. I don't know. They wanted to tap you from behind. King of Wands, Leo Aries said, wanting to get you on the knees. Claim that ass. They want to go to Pound Town. <laughs> Pound Town. But they got to get out of this sabotage that they're doing. They got to walk away from nostalgia. They got to walk away from the past relationship that they were growing, that they have children with, or they just, you know, listening to other people instead of their heart and mind. Let's see what they want to say that they're unable to say. Okay. So my Oracle decks will be on sale next week, uh, Monday to Thursday. They will be 30 instead of 40 so it's $10 off the Oracle decks. I have two of them. I got the Sexy Time Oracle deck, Intimate Messages from your person, and then the Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck, what your person like to say that they're unable to say. So it's, it's 30 instead of 40 plus shipping. Save some money. All right. Uh, I also am going to be doing a giveaway in the next couple of weeks, so just keep an eye out. You were good to me, yeah. This masculine feels like you were good to them, 
and I dream about you. Dream about you. So you're on the, their mind. You see their sleep, their wake state and their sleeping state. They know, oh my God, they know that they had a good thing with you and they just couldn't grab you like the butterfly. They couldn't catch you in their, they couldn't catch you in their, uh, their net. I can't stop thinking about you heavily. I know I hurt you badly, so they're aware that them not being able to uplift you as a lover really hurt you. They couldn't do it. This person had a relationship, so you kind of have to you know, be understanding to that. That it gets confusing. Twin flame connection. So this really was an eye opener for both of you guys. I miss your touch. So they miss grabbing your hand and your hugs and uh, I'm manifesting you back. I want to leap towards you. We saw that with the full card. And I don't want to see you with someone else. Please don't lose feelings. I love you. I love you. Gemini energy. I'm manifesting you. They're doing a lot of manifesting, a lot of visualization. They told you to release them, but shit, they didn't want to tell you that. I need to heal. They didn't want to tell you that they needed to release you, but they did because they needed to heal some shit that maybe you were unaware of or you were aware of, but you weren't willing to accept it the situation for what it, what it was all right so this let's see who this person could be 32 23 on the clock look up that angel number there might be additional messages for you hammer sabotage see they know that they they sabotaged it. You were persistently trying to get this person to communicate with you, to show you more clarity, or to like raise their vibration. And they kept sabotaging it. And I think you guys were sabotaging it too. Let's get it straight. You both did your dirty. You both did your damage. You both had immaturity and insecurity here. Um, but as the relationship progressed, I feel like you guys became more well-balanced because you were um, twin flames. You, yeah, the butterfly. Twin flames are here for us to see ourselves, a direct reflection of ourselves, the mirror of ourselves, um, the good, the bad, the ugly. So I think this, this relationship is uh, evolving to the next phase. You're healing the inner child. I think there was a lot of inner childhood wounds between the two of you that you weren't aware of until you guys met and then you went through this like turmoil triggering time but there is a lot of love between the two of you here unconditional love self-love and oneness see this person taught you self-love and you also taught them self-love they were sitting in a relationship or their life they weren't happy where they were and they didn't even realize that they weren't happy until you came in and um, you showed them something different. You showed them stability. You, sh you showed them that unconditional love. Even though this person couldn't be with you or uplift you, you still gave this love energy out to them. So now they're deciding to, to break it, break it off with other people. And, you know, they had to break up with you. They had to break up with you because it wasn't balanced at that point. You were chasing this person. You were the chaser here, begging for this person's time and attention. You probably the anxious attachment style, and they were avoidant attachment style. You guys weren't clicking. So that's why you had to put an axe to it and a hammer to it and leave each other for a minute. But here comes clarity. Here comes truth and understanding. And um, after solidarity, after like relocation, uh, now this this connection is protected and it's very powerful. You're going to be talking with this masculine here after they close out 
this relationship with this other person. They're not going to replay the cassette anymore with this person. And they're not wanting to rehash or replay what went on with you. Um, they feel like a failure right now. They're not doing they're not doing too good, but they are staying disciplined. You you're you need to stay disciplined in where you are right now and know that you you can accomplish great things. Acceptance. Yeah. Now feminine you're accepting the situation for what it is. Masculine's also accepting the fact that they got love for you. They want a relationship with you here. No longer feeling um, guilty about wanting to come towards you. So this person was sitting in guilt because they probably do love that person that they're with, or they did. And then they chased lust and fell in love with you. They envy the fact that you are independent and you're not struggling anymore. They envy the fact that you've pulled yourself out of the illusions and out of the sadness and out of the hurt and they love the fact that you've shown them so much patience and you've tried to stay as balanced as possible for this person and be a safe place for them so they're feeling very they're feeling a lot of empathy for you it's a lot of empathy a lot of love 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 energy they know that you were trying to do right by them okay let's get a lover's message lover's message I won't be live this Thursday night guys so I'll see you next week just a heads up I might poke in maybe Friday sometime okay look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way so you may still feel a little bit of hurt and nostalgia for this person, but you have to look inside yourself um, and stop projecting out onto this person. You really got to love yourself. Loving yourself, that will attract people to come in and treat you the right way. Some of you could be Native, Native American, uh, Portuguese, Taiwanese feeling this could be taking a shower with this person you got passion coming in a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it so somebody's gonna be slurping up on you licking you embracing you pulling you really close to them all right guys that's what i got for you i hope you enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation i do appreciate all likes donations and kind words you give me on a daily basis throw up some feedback throw up an emoji put me back into the algorithm help me help you um and yeah keep yourself in high regard and i'll talk to you soon bye